it will be very interesting to know that we never see the actual sunrise and the actual sunset because of the atmospheric refraction we always see the sun 2 minutes before it crosses the horizon before it comes to the line of sight for the observer same will be the case we will keep seeing the sun for another 2 minutes after it has gone down the horizon so we can say we always see the sunrise little advanced and sunset bit delayed it's nearly 2 minutes again the atmospheric refraction is coming into play and what is happening the atmospheric layers the sun light is entering coming to the observer crossing many of the atmospheric layers the outer layer is rarer because of the heat of the sun and the density of the air is low there compared to the next one and so on and so forth so the light ray which is coming from the sun even when it is below the horizon will suffer refraction and it will bend towards us like this so if it sun is here so actually what is happening in place of reaching straight to us the sun, the ray is bending because of the refraction because it is entering from rarer to the denser medium and that gives us impression that sun is somewhere up its apparent position is higher than its actual position that is the case of the sunrise similar phenomena will take place in the case of sunset when the sun has gone below the horizon for some time because of the bending of the rays coming from the sun we will have its position its apparent position seen little above the horizon so that is all because of the atmospheric refraction in the different layers of atmosphere another phenomena that takes place because of the atmospheric refraction uh, at the time of sunrise and sunset is flattening of the sun's disk you must have observed at the time of sunset the sun looks little flatter at the top so this flattening of the sun disk is also because of the atmospheric refraction 